Robbie. Hi, Tony. Hey, TV3. You're doing this thing for Red Nose Day. I love Red Nose Day. You make the whole world smile with your little button nose. Yeah, I don't think they're doing that song this year. Oh, that's a shame. They want to do this kind of comedy thing for Cure Kids. Cure Kids are awesome. Mm. And they want to get the old Outrageous Fortune crew back together again and do some kind of sketch. So totally on board. You just tell me where and when and let's do it. Oh, I love Cure Kids. I mean, I don't love that the kids need curing, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I do, Sean. You can 100% count me in. That's great. For Cure Kids? I'm totally on board like you wouldn't believe. Oh, that's brilliant. It'll be great to get the whole gang back together again. Hell yeah, you, me and Whippy. Oh, no, Nicole's out. She's contracted to poor justice these days. Still, there will be two of us strapping on the denim and the leopard print and getting the girls out for a good cause. Hmm. You sure this is wise, Robin? It's a really good cause. I don't doubt the cause. If I was able to walk among the people like, like Jesus or a televangelist curing the kids, I would. It's a George Lucas thing that worries me. Sorry? He went back, Robin. Three Star Wars films. Couldn't leave it alone. He went back. And he gave the world Jar Jar Binks. So, I'm thinking, right, we'll set the sketch two years after the last episode and see where all the characters are now. Cool. Be great to see what Pascal's up to now. I was thinking that, you know, after her relationship with Judd fails, she just comes home to mum. Uh, no, she would still be with Judd and they'd have two kids by now. No, 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 I don't see it like that. I've been thinking about my career lately, Robin. Mm-hmm. Linda, the lovable, hard-out, denim-wearing tow truck driver from Moosey Peak. Then Rochelle, trash-talking, get-the-girls-out, denim and leopard-print-wearing bogan slapper. And then Shortland Street, as you guessed it, denim-wearing, bikey homewrecker. You see what I'm saying here? You don't have to wear denim if you don't want to, Ros. What if, instead of today, we set it a hundred years ago? Why? The frocks, Robin, the frocks! It'll be like outrageous fortune meets Downton Abbey. So that's August 24th this year. Yeah. Oh, tiny problem. I meant to be cycling around Bhutan, raising money for wind farms for orphanages. Right. Oh, that's not entirely confirmed, though. Because I'm waiting to hear back from the Sri Lankans about building lemur sanctuaries in the jungle. What about how Pascal and Judd are totally wrong for each other? Well, what about how Cheryl still hasn't moved on and she can't say that? I mean, sure, she sees her grandkids and she's nice to them, but there is a huge void between Pascal and Cheryl. Yeah, because Pascal is a slut who stole her mother's boyfriend. George Lucas, Robin. George Lucas. Did they have West Auckland a hundred years ago, Roz? Oh, well, they had Auckland, so there must have been something west of it. Bush? Frogs in the bush, then! But no denim. Exactly! Oh, I might have an afternoon between curing leprosy in Guam and music therapy for traumatised dolphins off the coast of Peru. Come on, it's just a silly little sketch. Is it, Robin? Or is it the top of a slippery slope? And at the bottom of that slope is you, in 20 years doing your one-woman Cheryl West show to an audience of two at the Tiro RSA. Hmm. And maybe Pascal does not like to be told what to do these days, especially by Cheryl, who calls her things like slut to her face. Fine, I'll put you down as a maybe then. Fine, you do that. <sighs> Hello. You have no idea how long I've waited for this call. Johnny? Like an ember glowing in the dark. Sparky's been waiting for this moment to burst back into flame again. <laughs> Johnny, are you still in character? There has only ever been Sparky, and it's only he who will ever be. Uh, will there be fire? You know, for a good cause. Of course. <laughs> Please tell me there'll be fire. And I will get back to you, Johnny, as soon as I've had a chance to check the budget. Oh, I've got matches, if that helps.
I'm sorry, Ewan. I tried. I really, really tried. I thought they'd go for it. Get the whole team back together again. The torch has passed, Robin. It's our turn now. Whose turn? Comedians. You see, like the dinosaurs, you actors, you've, you've had your time ruling the airwaves. Let us take care of it now. You know what? You're right. You comedians, you're all over the television now, even the not very funny ones. Yeah, I've been a bit lucky like that, but the torch has passed and you're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, but you know what? I can do comedy. I can. I have got some killer hobbit jokes. The classic. Open mic night, mate. That's where you're going to have to start. Uh, are you crying? No, it's called acting, you and okay? Oh, you're very good. Very, very good. <laughs>